I'm on the homestead. Actually, I'm on the freeway. My daughter is taking me to the airport so I can go to Texas. Now, I think this is going to be a fantastic week for my vacation, but the travel is going to be interesting. Everybody likes a little interesting in their life once in a while. So what we've got going on right now is there is a uh, weather alert in Anna and McKinney, Texas. I think it's like Denton, Denton County or something. And what it they are calling for is tornadoes, baseball size hail, wind and rainstorms. Do I look excited? <laughs> so anyway, uh, yeah, so it's been a little bit of a rough couple of days. I have like some nausea going on and I was just like, oh my God, really? I'm about to travel. Um, so hoping that that all irons itself out and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in a few. Okay guys, I just have to show you how beautiful it is here in Southern California. And then I'll be sharing with you how beautiful it is in Northern Texas. Yeah, so it's just amazing here, it's beautiful. We had a little bit of rain yesterday, but it's just popping with blue now. Anyway, I just wanted to throw that in. Rerouted from San Diego to Phoenix, now San Diego to Sacramento, and then to Dallas, hopefully, because the weather is keeping me from getting to Dallas. Hi guys, I'm resting. <laughs> I finally made it to Texas. Yeah, it got to the point where it was kind of dark in the cabin of the airplane and the weather got pretty freaky. Uh, I've only flown probably a handful of times and I absolutely love it, but turbulence kind of bothers me. There is no other part of flying that bothers me, but turbulence really kind of freaks me out not too 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 bad just you know a little bit scary 
and flying in through a lightning storm to Dallas got pretty scary. So I really didn't go any further with the videos. It got pretty crazy. I got off the plane finally and we were like, you, woohoo, thank you. And everybody was clapping and, you know, and I was like, thank you, Jesus. I'm on land. Woohoo. So, um, we got in, um, I had to get my luggage and then I had to go get my rental car. So FYI, don't choose thrifty. If you want to be thrifty, choose someone else. <laughs> Cause these guys, I got a quote earlier, um, before I even left and it was like 384 or something like that. So I got in there and then uh, the price was lower, but they wanted me to get insurance because we were in under threat for a hailstorm. And my sister, she has like the radar map thing and I guess purple is the hail and she said there's no more purple so th th you're out of risk for a hailstorm. And I know that I could drive in a regular but just not the baseball size stuff. So it's not, you know, small or regular hail is not really going to cause any damage. So, but I still needed to drive from Dallas Love Field to Anna McKinney, which, I mean, Anna McKinney, Anna, Texas, which um, was about an hour away. So, um, I hit the road, and at first it was just, you know, light rain, and you could see some lightning in the distance, but... Uh, and the wind started picking up, uh, the lightning really started picking up. And let me tell you, if y'all have a, uh, I live in the West in California and I've seen some pretty good lightning up in my California mountains, but <laughs> I know nothing, nothing at all compared to California. This place was wow. Or let me switch that phrase around. Compared to Texas, California is nothing, nothing at all. So, yeah, pretty crazy. I missed a turn, and I was doing okay on the freeway. And then as soon as I missed my turn, and it was so dark out, you know, with the rain falling, can't see the lines in the road. Every time the lightning would flash, you're blinded completely. And so then I called my sister up kind of upset. Um, and then she kind of reminded me, you know, lightning is lazy. It'll go for the tallest object. You're not the tallest object. There's lots of trees around. So that kind of, you know, calmed me down. She helped me get to her house. And then we talked briefly, but by the time I rolled in, it was almost two o'clock in the morning. Can you believe that? I was supposed to probably get here no later than 10 o'clock, but with the delays I got one flight canceled, so when I was in San Diego, I got a text from Southwest that my um, flight from San Diego to Phoenix, no, 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 from Phoenix to Dallas had been canceled. So I went up to the counter and said, you know, obviously my ticket's already been paid for, so I either need to get a flight from, get a hotel and then get a flight, or um, get another flight. So then, this is kind of weird, though, because the reason that they had closed down the airport was because of this crazy weather, but they still had some flights that were open. So I had a choice that landed me in Dallas at 10, and another one that landed me in Dallas at 8, like 45, but that one did not last land until 10.15, because first I got that ticket uh, replaced, and then... Um, my next flight was going to be like at 11.40. <laughs> that changed. And I walked up to the counter. And the new, it said delayed. And it said my flight wasn't until 4.40. Okay, well. And then I had to eat something at the airport. And that was um, rather expensive. And not that great. But it was food. So... Okay, so let me see. Yeah, it's just I'm doing a quick rundown because it's been crazy, guys. 
And, you know, at the airport, you can't walk away from your luggage. You know, even if if you get up and go stand over at a counter to talk to somebody and you're right next to your chair, you have to keep your luggage on you. And because there's people that will just run up and take it. Whoa. That will just run up and take it. Or they might, you know, deposit contraband into your area and then you could get in trouble for that. So I'm like, oh, my God, there's some crazy, weird people out here in this world. Okay, so then I had to carry my stuff everywhere with me. My back and neck and shoulders were killing me. Uh, yeah, I don't fl- travel, you know, in air that much. I Like I said, I really like it, but um, yeah, pretty crazy. So I'm here. I'm at my sister's. Um, I'm spending time with my mama. And then I'm going to do just sister time this weekend. We're going to go get massages and girl stuff. And then um, I'm going to meet up with a dear friend from our YouTube family. And then, and I'm not mentioning it because we haven't agreed that I can mention that here. Um, for some personal reason um, reasons on her end. And so... If I get permission, I will mention it. And that's actually kind of a meetup. And then, um, hopefully I'm going to go see my lifelong best friend and if she's home because she found out that she got some, um, she kind of got some bad news about um, a death in the family and she needs to drive out to Oregon. So hopefully, hopefully she'll be able to get done and get back here by then. But if not, we will just connect another time (sighs) so I'm going to end this video here and then I'm going to do a couple more about my fantastic trip here yeah weather was wow last night (laughs) anyway talk to you guys later love you god bless